Well, we have a lot of different kinds of chickens at our house, and they lay a lot of different kinds of eggs. We get light brown and dark brown eggs, and we get green eggs. Let me show you green egg. Here's green egg. And some of them are a little more of a dull, and some are shiny. It's hard to show on a on a video, but we get green eggs. They're not green on the inside. They're just the same on the inside. And then we get white eggs. We have a couple um, white white hens that lay white eggs. Um, our green eggs come from our araucanas, and then our brown eggs come from our, we have a buff orpington, and we have a Rhode Island red, and we have some black australorps, and um, a, buckeye, a couple buckeyes. Um, but anyhow, I'm glad chickens lay eggs, extra eggs, so that we can eat them. Well, anyhow, chickens aren't the only ones who lay eggs. Uh, right away, I would think of like birds, like robins, and I would think of turtles, like sea turtles, and I would think of ducks, yeah? But there are a lot more, and I found a lot of those reading this book today, and I want to share it with you. It's called Chickens Aren't the Only Ones by Ruth Heller. Chickens aren't the only ones. Here's a bunch of chickens. They're all laying eggs. We have one chicken that looks like those. Chickens aren't the only ones. Chickens lay the eggs you buy. The eggs you boil or fry or dye. <laughs> Look how pretty. Or leave alone so you can see what grows inside naturally. See if you leave them alone. Chickens aren't the only ones. Ooh, look, peacocks. Every bird, wild or tame, does the same. All birds, they lay eggs. The ostrich lays the largest egg, the hummingbird the smallest for all the birds. Chickens aren't the only ones. Most snakes lay eggs, and lizards too, and crocodiles, and turtles do, and dinosaurs who are extinct, but they were reptiles too. Frogs and toads and salamanders lay eggs, and when they hatch, they're tadpoles who grow legs and climb a lily pad just like their mom and dad. They don't have claws or scaly skins. They are called amphibians. Fish eggs float up to the surface or sink to the bottom of the ocean floor. The mother seahorse lays her eggs into the father's pouch. He keeps them there until they hatch and then he's through. I think that's nice of him, don't you? These fathers, too, are helping out by guarding eggs protected by that foamy mass that's floating by. And they won't leave until they're sure that all the eggs have hatched. They're very faithful. These don't look like eggs to me, but they were laid in the sea. This one by a shark. And this one by a ray is a mermaid's purse, they say. Hmm. I never knew that. The octopus is said to shed 100,000 eggs and then to hang them in strings attached to rocks or caves. Wow, that's a lot of eggs. The moon sails eggs are mixed with sand to form this collar looking band. Spiders wrap their eggs in sacks. And snails, you know, are very slow, but they lay eggs that hatch and grow. And so do insects who have six legs and lay many different kinds of eggs. This one, can you see that? Will hatch into a hungry caterpillar who will grow, whoops, my hand's in the way, let me move it. Ooh, this is neat. Will grow and grow and grow, then climb up a stem and change into this. 
a chrysalis and change again one summer morn. That's how a butterfly is born. Animals with fur or hair who nurse their young and don't lay eggs are known as mammals or mammalia. But these are two exceptions and they both live in Australia. This is a spiny anteater that lays eggs, and this is a duckbill platypus that lays an egg. Hmm. Chickens aren't the only ones. There's no more to discuss. Everyone who lays an egg is oviparous. Oviparous. That's a big word, oviparous. Animals who don't lay eggs have babies born alive and well, but that's another tale to tell. Oh, see the kitty? They don't hatch from eggs. And there's the chickens. So there are lots and lots of creatures that lay eggs, aren't there? Many more than I ever thought of. Anyhow, I hope you learned something today. Remember that word, oviparous. Oviparous. O-V-I-P-A-R-O-U-S. Oviparous. Talk to you later. Bye.